Here's another one where if the system actually worked uh, how it's supposed to, a little five-year-old girl probably wouldn't be dead. Uh, and and also, I don't want to just blame the system here. If two parents had their shit together enough, a little girl wouldn't be dead as well. But because yep. both of those things failed, she's dead. We're talking about the case against Adam Montgomery and his little girl, Harmony Montgomery, who was born in August of 2014 and uh, was put into the system. Her mother, uh, Crystal uh, uh, Sorry, having substance abuse issues. Her father, incarcerated at the time of her birth, uh, taken to the Department of Children and Family Services, shuffled around quite a bit. Dad eventually gets out of jail and is awarded uh, full custody uh, of his daughter, uh, which is rather interesting because this dad, uh, he had a rap sheet. He had a history, uh, mm -hmm. including being linked to an unsolved murder of uh, Darlin Guzman in February of 2008, who was shot in the chest following an argument in a convenience store parking lot and uh, many, many, many other charges uh, against uh Adam uh, throughout the course of, of his life. So how on earth the judge said, you'd be a great dad. Uh, I don't know. Uh, obviously, I mean, the mom, substance abuse problems, probably not a good fit either. Uh, in fact, uh, seeing uh, some of her testimony, um, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't trust my kid with that person for a second either. Uh, but this my goldfish with her no no the uh, the fact that uh, both of these parents failed miserably in life uh, and managed to reproduce then put the child into the system and as we all know the system doesn't work that great and basically if you have a pulse and maybe you've cleaned your act up for a week uh, you can get your kids back uh, and, and like that's not true well it really kind of is in a lot of cases uh, and it's it's really not the fault of the people who are working in child protective services. Uh, it's the system itself. I cannot imagine being uh, a representative of that and, and trying to do your job sanely. Um, I've had friends who've done it, and it's a heartbreaking job with no rewards uh, and nothing but grief. And you can't really win because you're understaffed. You don't have the resources to truly uh, save all of these kids from the horrendous conditions in which they come from. And a lot of times you pull them out of that horrendous condition of a birth parent or a guardian and the foster system, not all that much better. Are there good people no. in it? Sure, there are. But I tell you, there's far more horror stories uh, out there than I think there are good uh, quite often. Um, anyway, uh, this child uh, in his custody around 2019 went missing. However, no one knew she went missing, uh, so much so that Adam Montgomery's uh, girlfriend at that time in 2019 started uh, trying to use Harmony's social security uh, money uh, and uh, filing for food stamps and such uh, under her name. Oh, God. So they knew the kid's not around uh, from 2019 to 2021 uh, and never reported it. Her uh, birth mother, uh, Crystal, now very upset, saying that she did uh, try and uh, talk to the authorities uh, about this and issued many warnings, but nothing ever came down. She, too, was still not fit to be uh, a mother, though. But I don't understand how that many years go by and nobody's raised, raised enough red flags to have something happen. Uh, if, if I, for some reason, was not in custody of my child, yet I knew they were missing, I think I'd be camped out on the police steps uh, until they listened or throwing bricks through windows, uh, mm -hmm. going, look, pay attention to this. Uh, but that is not uh, what happened uh, at all. Uh, Adam Montgomery's estranged wife, Kayla Montgomery, faces charges of theft and allegations of welfare fraud like we just talked about. 
Uh, Harmony's biological mother, uh, Crystal Sori, expressing regret about uh, her last interaction with Harmony, saying it was a FaceTime call around Easter of 2019 where Harmony looked frightened. <sighs> Sorry, people. Uh, you're the parent and you have regret of this or that. Sometime you got to get your shit together and start looking out for your kids. And if knowing that your child is in the custody of a convicted felon, uh, possibly a murderer, I think if, if there's anything to get you off drugs, I would think that might be it. But that's not. So I don't really have a lot of uh, <laughs> pity here for, for mom. I, I realize, you know, she's an addict. It was a process and all that. But I'm sorry. Uh, I'm a parent, too. And at some point, you got to get your shit together. Um, mm -hmm. Harmony's adoptive uh, uncle, Jonathan Bobbitt Miller, questions why Harmony was placed with Adam Montgomery rather than with her brother, Jameson, who was a constant in her life as they were shuffled from uh, foster home to foster home. They were together. And then the judge decided, hey, let's split them up. Adam Montgomery uh, is appearing in court facing eight counts related to firearms theft in 2019. He's accused of stealing two firearms at the home of a person identified as C.F. And we are going to be covering that trial for you. In fact, the uh, opening statements, uh, opening arguments just happened on the 1st of June. And we will have that audio for you here on the podcast. We will also have the audio of the trial, the murder trial that will be coming up uh, later in the year. Adam is scheduled to stand trial for the death of Harmony. Authorities claim that Adam took Harmony's life in December of 2019. Harmony was not reported missing until November 2021. By August 2022, authorities believe Harmony had been killed. And that's when they charged Adam uh, with the murder. Now, they, don't, they don't have a body, though. That's, that's going to be such a difficult thing to prosecute. They are still searching for Harmony's remains. Uh, I, I think it isn't, I, it's kind of like an automatic murder. Wouldn't it be if your child that you're entrusted with caring for is missing and you can't tell anybody where they are? Well, guess what? That's a murder conviction. If you can't tell us where they are. I, I It's definitely something. I, uh, I, I uh, the, the horror of what else could have happened to her. Also not good whatsoever. The other thing I do wonder about and scared to think of is, you know, did this man sell his child into, you know, trafficking or something as well? Oh, oh, Tony, I I didn't even go there. My brain didn't go there. Well, seeing as upstanding of citizens as Adam Montgomery uh, has been, uh, I would not be that surprised if, hey, he's out of jail, needs to get some money, you got a kid, you got a deal. As oh creepy and horrible as that is, uh, I, I don't even... I, I, maybe she'd be alive today, but the torture and horror that that child would be going through, maybe she would be better off having her life having ended versus trying to, to survive that. But it's a horrible, horrible story. Uh, just riddled with things that could have been changed or could have stopped this from going. All of the fail safes that we think we have in our society didn't work. And unfortunately, you want to think that child protective services at some point would have cared for this child in some way enough to have spared her life. You would think, and unless you're like in the system and you are working with it and, and dealing with it, a lot of times people just pretend that it works great until they actually have to deal with it. Those would be the same people that say, we have a great medical system in our country and it works wonderfully and it's great for everybody. Have you ever used the medical system in our country? Have you ever used insurance companies for any sort of medical uh, issues whatsoever? No. Right. Then you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. It's almost guaranteed they're going to fuck it up in some way, shape, or form, at least on billing. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> at the very least. Uh, in, in many other ways, they could maybe give you, oh, I don't know, the wrong chemo. I saw that happen in the last couple of weeks with somebody I care about. Um, there, there's just so many ways that these things get fucked up and these institutions that we are supposedly supposed to trust, uh, it, it's harder every day to do so. I, I do believe people do mean well, 
But when these systems are so broken, you can be the best meaning person in the world. And if that thing is busted, you are fucked. Murder in the morning from the Hidden Killers Podcast. We will keep you up to date on this case with trial audio from the firearms charge as well as interviews and discussions as the murder trial comes up later in the year uh, for Adam Montgomery as we're seeking out justice for Harmony. If you want to follow that uh, case exclusively, we've created a podcast exclusively for it. It's called Justice for Harmony, the trials of Adam Montgomery because... Yeah, he has multiple trials going on right now. Guns, murder, lovely guy. Hey, Judge, why don't we put a kid with him? What do you think? He's, he's still alive. Why don't we put a kid in the cell with him and see what happens? That oh, What could possibly go wrong? Press subscribe wherever you download podca- podcasts so you don't miss uh, any of that. For Stacy, I'm Tony. Stay with us.